Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include UK EU Banking Union, the man from the Eurozone says no. Aid Watchdog says tighter control required over UK aid contribution to the European Union. European Parliament backs EU unitary patent rules. Commission gives another 30 million euros for humanitarian aid to Syria. And the European Central Bank considers charging depositors. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First today, from our homepage, once again it appears the Eurozone holds the double-headed coin. Talks by EU finance ministers to hammer out details for an EU banking union. The key difficulty for the UK is that joining a European banking union would hand financial control to Brussels and would almost certainly trigger demand for a referendum, which would certainly be met with a no. On the other hand, outside of the Union, the UK would become subservient to the EU banking legislation, which has been decided upon by the other member states. There are more details in the full story and the links are below. The Independent Commission for Aid has said there is no proper measure in place for judging the effectiveness of UK funds which are distributed via the EU aid budget. Now, this situation is common throughout EU budgets. Member States' funds are directed as the EU sees fit, but the Member States have to foot the bill and the EU takes all the credit. This article sets out the key issues and it's one the critics will appreciate as it really adds grist to their mill. Oh, here it is, wearing the Spin Doctor's cloak, unitary patents. It certainly looks like this story was designed to slip under the radar. Well, not on my watch. Our articles section sets out the EU mechanism for harmonising the patent system throughout Europe. Once again, this is another transfer of power from the Member State Governments to the Commission. Patents provide a covenant between an inventor and the State, effectively granting a period of competition-free trading. The worrying issue is that, as we've seen in the US, it's much easier for large corporates and multinationals to lobby a single body and also to cash patents en masse. Links to the full story are below. Earlier this week, the European Commission announced it would be providing an additional 30 million euros for humanitarian aid in Syria. This brings the total to date up to 126 million euros. I expect this story to grow in its significance. What is not mentioned in the press during this conflict is the three-way pressure to hold the balance of favour with the government in Syria. Syria is a strategic location for oil pipelines and the US, Russia and Europe each have a vested interest in that region. As ever, we'll keep you posted. I picked up this story on Bloomberg. Business Week reported that the ECB Governing Council had backed an interest rate cut as a countermeasure to the still lifeless Eurozone economy. Where it gets interesting, however, is in the couple of lines in the final paragraph. The ECB are currently considering the effects and implications of setting a negative interest rate for depositors. Essentially, this would make savers pay to have the banks hold their savings. We've got the full story on the front page and this article really is a must read. Today in our video library we have the final part of Greece Bust and Broken, this BBC special report presented by Stacey Dooley. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. Music